There's so many incredible steakhouses in the city of Atlanta. And then there's the most popular steakhouse in the city's history. Started more than 25 years ago by Pano Caritasis. You're talking about the finest steaks, the most amazing seafood, side dishes that'll blow your mind, a bar that's always hopping. It is the epitome of class. There's never been a bad night at this place. Let's hang at Chop's Lobster Bar. Chop's Lobster Bar is an upscale neighborhood restaurant. When people walk through the door, they get a great greeting. Uh, we really try to make it feel like a country club atmosphere, you know, and they really feel like they belong here. So why is Chops a great night out? There's a social explosion that happens here. Yeah. It exceeds my expectations every visit. It's the best steakhouse in town. I feel like I'm going to Cheers. I love it. This is my first time. I, I mean, I can't get over it. It's so exciting to be here. We are one of the best steakhouses here in Atlanta that offers prime beef, pristine seafood, and a, a very wide selection of unique appetizers. We have Japanese Kobe beef, Wagyu beef. We really have come to specialize in over the last several years. We currently get in about 40 to 45 pounds a week, and that lasts not, not very long. Going to a great steakhouse, what does that mean to you? What do they have to deliver? A great cut of meat, good flavor, better than I can do on my grill at home. Right. I like a good drink. Right. Good cocktail. <laughs> you go, girlfriend. <laughs> Well, a lot of people know us for our steaks, which we serve incredible steaks. Uh, we also have the best crab cake you'll eat anywhere. I don't care where you're from, this is the best crab cake you'll ever have. I like to start with the seafood tower. You're talking about the, like the lobster and the oysters and all that stuff, it's like, uh, exactly. yeah. It's a poo-poo platter of paradise. It's a, it's, it really is. We can get a phone call today, if you will, from Hawaii, say Hawaiian Orange Marlin's running. It'll be here within 36 hours, so they're getting the highest quality from all over the world. My wife is only a fish person. Come to a steakhouse, yet she loves it because there's always a nice fish on the menu. Tonight was a pompano. She likes the oysters. Rockefeller it was a special tonight, which was very good. But the, it's the service and the food and the staff is always perfectly consistent. And I, I've just never, ever had a bad experience. It feels like a home away from home, but with gourmet food that I'm not cooking. When the guests leave here, we want them thinking about more than just steak and lobster, but about the uh, event that happened. Could be a business deal or a nice date out. So they, it's really something more than just a dinner. So we're always talking about shops being like a special occasion place. Right. And it's your birthday, right? It's my birthday. Do you need me to help you order, or are you going to be all right? Because I know you're only the appetizers. What would you recommend? Well, I would say there's a lobster, macaroni, and cheese that's oh, wow. not on the menu. Okay. Tell them you know steak. I know steak, okay. All right? They may charge you extra for that little part. <laughs> but it's on the menu. Happy okay. birthday. Thank you very much, Dad. Right. Chops is upstairs, then come downstairs to the world-famous Lobster Bar, one of the most amazing dining rooms in the Southeast. I love this place. It's incredible decor, so elegant. Of course, the food and the menu is the same as Chops, but it just kind of got a different flavor. There's a reason countless TV shows and movies have been shot right down here in this unbelievable setting. So if you're looking for a really special night, Man the Lobster Bar, this is your spot. When we come back, it's more Tasty Bites and everything that makes an old school chop house best in class for over 20 years. Atlanta Eats is back. Kevin. Steak, how you doing? I mean, look what's happening right here. There's a lot going on. I'm having uh, heart palpitations <laughs> right now. You guys have been doing it for a long time and the quality has not dropped from when this place opened, what, uh, 20 years 26 ago? 26 years ago, 26 yeah. years ago, right? So how do you maintain that? Attention to detail, that's the key. You know, my boss, Pano, has always said, it's, uh, running a restaurant is no big thing, it's a thousand little things. Right. But a lot of these dishes are, are Pano's creation. Right. So. Well, let's talk about this, the number one creation long time, which is sure. fried lobster tail, right? We started making that at Pano's and Paul's in 1979. Cold water lobster tail, that's the key. You gotta buy the right, the highest mm. quality lobster tail you can find. So why are the chopped steaks 
at the next level. Right. People come from all over the country. Right. We're dealing with the prime grade, the right. absolute cream of the crop. But it doesn't just stop there. With our meat uh, suppliers, we need them to select certain farms that we like the meat coming from. We right. find it to be more consistent, so they separate that out. Then it's onto the cut shop where they hand cut right. the steaks and cryovac for us. So the craftsmanship and the cutting is almost as important as the selection of the meat itself. And Pano's been looking at what a great steak looks like for 25 years. Absolutely. So you can see it in two seconds. Absolutely. Is this the porterhouse? Yeah, this is a beautiful dry aged porterhouse. Yep. And uh, this is dry aged for about 28 days. Uh, so you have the filet mignon, very tender on this side. Beautiful New York strip on that side. This is great to share for two yeah, or three absolutely. people. Is that like mashed potatoes with lobster? Is that yeah, what's happening that, there? Yeah, that is a one pound lo uh, steamed main lobster mm -hmm. on top of uh, some beautiful truffled uh, mashed potatoes. So what about the whole scene here? The great thing about Chops is we're a local place. You know, right. local people eat here, um, so any night could be the busiest night of the week. A lobster bar is a romantic spot. Same menu, but totally different vibe. Yeah, energy. different vibe. Very elegant, very And romantic. people are ordering less steaks down there because of the word yeah. lobster bar. Feels yeah, like they feel like they want to eat seafood when they're right. in a the lobster bar. So when I'm in a lot of trouble with my wife, that's when I've go. done something stupid, which is about 70% of the right. time, that's when we go do lobster bar. Absolutely. Yeah. Let me toast you, because 26 years ago, Pino stood in the middle of Buckhead, and there was nothing but, you know, cattle and horses. <laughs> right. And he built this thing. Farmland, yeah. Oh. Built the metropolis to stake. Thank you, buddy.